Organ transplant was held in May 2014 for the weak and organ healer. According to Donate Life, donation can be living donation or passive donation. Living donation is when you decide to donate while you are alive. You can donate parts of the organ while you are alive as a person. Passive donation is the process of giving an organ or part of an organ at the time of death after your consent to be a donor. Organs for transplant can be heart, lung, kidney, liver, intestine, pancreas, cornea, which is part of the eye, tissue, like bone marrow tissue, whichever you prefer. Any organ donation can help. You can choose to donate any organ. Once you make a commitment, your decision to become a do an organ donor can help to save over 50 people in need for transplant. As you can see, the need for organ donation in right here in, in North Carolina is huge. Twenty nine thousand and five hundred children are saved because of transplant and organ transplant. Every year, more than seventeen hundred children are saved already by organ donors. Today, I would like to talk to you first about the need for organ donors in our area. Then, I will explain to you how you can become an organ donor, and finally, how your family and the organ recipients will benefit from your organ donation. There is a huge need of organ donors in our area that relates organ transplantation. Organ donor shortage is not only a problem in Australia, but also a huge problem right here in North Carolina. The demand in North Carolina is huge. About 3,000 people are waiting for organ donation. As of now, according to, to the donate life data, that says that or a new person is added to the waiting list every 10 minutes. According to the Mayo Clinic, every every day 21 patients die because of lack of organ donation. If patients should donate any needed organ or you can specify which organ you should use to donate. For example, you can specify you want to give like one organ like lung, kidney or an eye or bone marrow, any organ donation does help, any organ donation that saves a person's life. As you can see, the need for organ donation is very crucial. Many of you might have already wanted to join a donor group to donate your organ, but you may be asking how you can become a donor. Let me tell you on how you can become a donor. This is how you go to make sure your organs are donated. First, after your decision, inform to your family or to your close friends and then to talk to your doctor. You can register online at donatelife.org or simply fill out a card. Or you can go to your local DMV center to register and they will help you to go through this process. And then after that, designate a family member or a friend in case of emergency or in case they are unable to talk for your wish. After you go all through the process, a red mask will be added to your registrar. You mentioned that's at your legal consent to be a donor. Then when you say yes to the donation to donate your organ, your local DMV will mark your license and the red mask will be added to your license. Then they will give you a card to keep you with you and with your family. Now you know to be an organ donor is not that difficult. But let's look at what it means to the recipient and your family as a donor. Here is a nice viewer. As you can see, donating your organ is the greatest gift you could ever give. When you donate your organ, your family and the future for which your organs will benefit. Carrie, at the age of 21, was shot and killed when he was sent to inquiry by a mental ill patient. Here's family decided to honor Carrie Smith to be a donor. So Carrie Smith goes to be 47 years old guy and saved his life 
and one of his family, the woman with three kids that were there to work and support us too. After the life, after the late life that was an average of 81 organ transplant, six legs and one baby. So now we have a clear understanding of the need for an organ donation that's crucial that requires our immediate attention. I had explained here about the need for an organ donor in our area, how you can become an organ donor, and finally how your family and chamber of resistance can benefit from your organ donation. There is a thing to be for an organ donation that needs our immediate attention right here in North Carolina and nationwide. One of the people on it, and the way is, might be someone you know, it might be one of your family. It can make the difference in someone's life. During more than 100 million donors can be leave behind the gift of life. Think of the suffering and comfort for your family by knowing that you provide life to somebody else. So that finally the family deal with this quote from one of the donors' mom. As Grace Mom said, it's rewarding to know that you have done something to save the life of others. The gift of life is a precious gift. Organ donors give life even when they death, even when they die. So please donate and do whatever you can. Thank you. Any questions? Organ transplant gives hope in life to thousands of people with an organ failure. According to donatelife.net, donation can be living donation or deceased donation. Living donation is when you decide to donate while you are alive. You can donate part of the organ while you are alive as a person. Deceased donation is the process of leaving an organ or part of an organ at the time of death as per your consent to be a donor. Organs for transplant can be heart, lung, kidney, liver, intestine, pancreas, cornea, which is part of the eye, tissue, like bone marrow tissue, whichever you prefer. Any organ donation can help. You can choose to donate any organ. Once you make a commitment, your decision to become a, an organ donor can help to save over 50 people in need for transplant. As you can see, the need for organ donation in right here in, in North Carolina is huge. 